Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. My name is Gail Snyder. I'm the Executive Director for Dementia Friendly Fort Worth. We are proud to offer these programs with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and are made available for use through a YouTube channel. And today we have Hobby Showcase with a showcase of the hobbies of each of our participants. So what I have done is I am going to draw a name from those who are here to see who okay. can go first. Okay. So let's see. It looks like Paulette is first and how fitting since this is her birthday week. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I write and I also paint. And this is um, one of my paintings. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. It's an abstract, right? What? Abstract painting? Well, it's, um, here's what it is. The circles are arranged in a triangular shape representing the strongest geometric form, the triangle. Yeah. The trinity also being the strongest form. The circles reflect the alpha and the omega having no beginning and no ending, just as God has no beginning and no ending. The colors are primary colors, the red representing the blood of Christ, the blue standing for the Holy Spirit and the truth it shares. The white reflects the purity and totality of God and yellow in the background. Yeah. When white light is filtered through a prism, it breaks into all the colors showing the omnis omniscience of God. The background is a yellow golden shade indicating heaven as a golden place. The red, blue, and white circles are the base of the Trinity. The white circle God is at the center of the base. White contains all the colors of the spectrum, just as God is the maker of all things. The red circle portrays Christ who sits on the right hand of God and whose blood was shed for humanity. The blue circle delineates the Holy Spirit who is as vast and unending as the sky. The three individual circles at the base of the triangle show the three distinct parts of the Holy Trinity. The top of the triangle represents the final and complete unification of the three entities. Um, the top of the triangle illustrates the final and complete unification of the three entities. The color is equal parts of blue, white, and red. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hmm. Very good. Could you hold it up to the camera again, please? Oh, sure. And move it, when, move it. There you go, right there. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that's that's great. That's absolutely great. Oh well, thank you, thank you, Martha. We can't. Well, I'll show you. you. I'll show you another quick painting with no comments. I mean, it's just a the writing is just as beautiful as the painting. It is, yes. It's a perfect meld of your talents. Oh, that's beautiful. There you go. I think I've seen that somewhere before. Do you sell prints? Ah. No, I've never sold a painting. <laughs> Well, you ought to. Oh, well, thank you. My goodness, that's beautiful. So, so when, what, what, when was that painting made, Paulette? Oh, gosh, um, I have no idea. Probably okay. 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Is, is it watercolor or acrylic? Uh, or? Uh, no, uh, um, I, I do oil. Oil, okay, good. Wow, that means you're patient. Yeah. Well, well oh, it means I can change my mistakes. <laughs> well, that's what all I have a long time to dry, so you can go back in and, you know. Uh, Some of those Van Gogh paintings took a couple of years to dry. The paint was on so thick. Wow. And he didn't have a hair dryer. No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> Acrylics dry fast, but oils take a long time, and watercolors obviously dry fast. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. So there you Good go. Morning. I don't want to take up some, somebody else's time. Okay. Do you have we have plenty of time. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I, I've got a whole wall full downstairs. If anybody <laughs> wants more, I can go get them. <laughs> well, we can always come back around. Yeah. If everybody gets a turn to show something and we have more time or we do another session. But I could read you something I wrote, too. Do you have that handy? Hmm? Do I have it handy? No, but I could get it real fast. Okay. <laughs> we, could do a, we could do a whole hour on her, her art. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to draw another name from my names. And the next name is Dusty. Dusty. Oh, okay. Uh, music is my, I won't say it's my hobby. It's been pretty much my life. Uh, I was in a band in school from the fifth grade through the 12th, played clarinet, still have two. Uh, I kind of got away from it for a while and picked up the guitar when I was 35 and play with the mostly jam sessions and play some honky tonks, un unfortunately, uh, but never as a consistent member of the band because I had the business and I just was kind of like a fill in person. And uh, I'm still trying to learn. So do you have a tune you can play for us? Yeah. Yes. Mom, attend meeting tomorrow. She's got a doctor's appointment. Okay. Well, we'll miss you, Nancy. Yes. But I'm glad you're here today. Can you hear me all right without my... Yes. 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 All right. Uh, of course, the greatest part of my life is Jesus Christ. I want to do a, my favorite gospel song. Shackled by a heavy burden, meet the load of guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me, and now I'm no longer the same. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and all oh, the joy that fill my soul. Something happened and now I know He touched me and made me whole Since I met this blessed Savior Since He cleansed and made me whole I will never cease to praise Him. I'll shout it while He turned up the road. He touched me, oh, He touched me. And oh, the joy that filled my soul. Something happened and now I know He touched me and made me whole That was great, Dusty. Thank you. Hey, wonderful, hey, Dusty, wonderful. Hey, Dusty, what was the name of that song? He Touched Me. Okay. That's um. Uh... Elvis had a rendition of that. I don't, uh, well, everybody had a rendition of that, actually. 
My grandpa used to sing and play that song with his guitar. Oh yeah? yeah. That's great. That, that brings I, memories. It does. If mm -hmm. I had been a little more awake, I would have sang with you, Daddy. No. I was hoping you'd get the uh, music box. Oh, no. Maybe next time. All righty then. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, that. Dusty. That thank was you, Dusty. beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bet yeah. you were a ringtail tutor with your clarinet. Uh, you know, I started out when I first started, I was first chair. Wow. And yeah, but uh, I had to work all the time and everything, and I just really didn't have time to practice and stuff, and I just kind of went down, and I mm -hmm. usually played second or third clarinet after a couple of years went by. Everybody kind of passed me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I it, never... I never was in the band, but it always looked like the band kids had a great time. Oh, yeah. It was great. It was a subculture of its own. Yeah. I was never in the band either because I went to a small school, and then when I moved to the bigger school that had a band, it was too late to get in because I would have been behind. Oh. My kids were both in the band, and my daughter's a, mu a band director. Yeah. Oh, great. Whereabouts? Uh, she's the head middle school director in White Settlement. Oh, oh great. Awesome. Uh, is, she, is she safe with COVID? So far, everything's been fine. They've had to send a, a few students home, but they are having in-person classes. Wow. What instruments did they play in the band? My daughter plays alto saxophone, and my son played trumpet. Oh, nice. Yeah. I hope they keep that up. Well, because... um, my son hasn't, he still has his trumpet. He doesn't play very often, but he's teaching himself guitar now. Okay, that's great. That's uh, amazing. I, when I was in, in elementary school and in, and in, uh, in middle school, I was, I took, uh, I, I think I took like three years of violin and four years of piano. Mm -hmm. And then I got distracted by science mm -hmm. so um, I, I kind of lost that skill although I can still read music mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, my, my playing ability is uh, not not that good playing the Trinity I think it's something you have to keep practicing yes most definitely all right well Dusty what else do you have for us uh, you have no, I, could, I, I could do another tune if you have time sure, sure. all right go ahead it, this is uh, from the, we'll go from the pulpit to the bar room. <laughs> okay. Angels and devils. <laughs> I think of the first words. Cold Fort Worth beer. No good for jealous. I've tried it not after night while you're in someone else's arms in Dallas just Fort Worth ever cross your mind darling while you're busy burning bridges Burn one for me if you get time. Oh, memories don't fade so easy. Just for worth ever cross your mind. You left me here to <coughs> be with him in Dallas. And I know it hurt you at the time, but I wonder now if it makes a difference 
to Fort Worth ever cross your mind? Just Fort Worth ever, just Fort Worth ever, just Fort Worth ever cross your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! So, so, that's the, I guess that, that the song that, that title, title of that song is "Does Fort Worth Co Ever Cross Your Mind?" Yes, and uh, I've, there's a story behind that. Uh, I bought a Mo Bandy album back in the '70s, and on this album there was an obscure song called "Does Fort Worth Ever Cross Your Mind?" <laughs> on it, and I loved it, so I learned it and played it, played it all over North Mississippi. And uh, in the 80, I think it was 1980, George Strait come out with that, somewhere in there. Oh. And when he did, everybody would come to me and say, hey, Dusty, George Strait singing your song. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I said, I wish. <laughs> all right, I'll give a mine up to somebody else now. All right. Okay, thank you, Dusty. Thank you, Dusty. Sure. You have a talent. Yes, you thank do. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, our next name is Dawn. Really? Okay. Hi. Hold on. All right, I'm going to share my screen. All right. Okay, so I'm, I, I share, did I hit screen? You hit share screen and then you pick the screen you want to share. Okay. Okay, can everybody see that? Yes. All right, let me start the slideshow. Ready? All right, so these are a, a couple of uh, water, they're both watercolor and acrylic paintings that I did. Uh, after I was uh, diagnosed with dementia, I started going to the Friday Al Alzheimer's group. Uh -huh. And uh, one, one thing that Lisa Buck did was he had painting, watercolor painting every once in a while. And I became very hip, very uh, uh, um, uh, good at it. Good, well, not good at it, but I, 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 I liked it. I liked doing it. I like that one a lot. So this is a, supposed to be some sort of bluebird um, in the spring. Uh, you can see the the the, uh, the uh, petals on the, the tree, um, and it is watercolor. Um, and uh, I I think I did this back in uh, nineteen. Oh, excuse me, not nineteen twenty. Um, twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. I don't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this painting. I, you know what? The problem I have with painting is I'm too picky. So I spent days, if not weeks, figuring out how to draw a bird. And because uh -huh. uh, my birds were not pretty, not at all. And uh, so I finally came up with that and I was very happy with it. I like it. You should be. Um, yeah. I take most of my paintings off the uh, internet that have painting, uh, um, painting de demonstrations. Mm -hmm. So they're all uh, free use. Um, so mine's a little bit different than the painting was, but I was trying to make it a little bit different. But that's that's uh, this is that's what this was. Anybody have questions about that? I do. Does yeah. is that a hand in the background, or is, is it that a what? A hand. It looks, it looks like, like a hand, doesn't it? The bird is sitting in the hand of God. Well, uh, you know, that's an interpretation that I never took of this, but I see that exactly. Uh, these, all these, all these splotches are random, quite frankly, but this does look like a, uh, uh, oh, sorry, go back to it. That looks like fun. Go back, go back. How do you go back? Uh, down at the bottom. Yeah. Um, if you'll click on the right, on the left-hand side of your screen, you should be able to go back. Okay. Nope. nope. Uh, just end it and start it over again. Okay. No, just type the number one and press enter. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Impressive. So, so I, I forgot what I was going to say about this, but if, if, any more questions? Uh, when you started this, did you start with this? What, what was your first stroke? Was it My a cross or was this? part of the bird or? Well, I, 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 to start with, I made a, a pencil sketch out of what, what it was going to be. And uh -huh. I started with the bird, absolutely. 
I start with okay. the bird, the blue foot, the blue part of the bird, the wings, the head, tail. Then uh -huh. I work toward the the, the, the breast uh, uh, feathers. Then I did all the all the the the, the uh, wood and the flowers last. That's impressive. Thank you. You do have talent. Well. <laughs> Did you do the abstract washes before you started the pencil no, painting? No, uh, those 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 came out. Uh, um, well, actually, I did I did them after I got the bird done primarily. But uh, um, yeah. So anyway, so I yeah I mean it was it was it, you, you're right they're absolutely abstract. So. Is this your first one? I, I like the I like the interpretation you had that uh, said that it looks like the bird was in the hand of God. I really like that. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Cool. Daddy, your mic's not on. Is that your first one? This is not the first painting I drew. Uh, I went through many elementary style paintings before I got to this. I, I had to learn how to, I, you know what? My, my excuse is that uh, I, drove, I, drive, I paint things that are abstract, mostly because I don't have the talent for doing the fine, the fine uh, well, I don't have a lot of talent to doing the fine, uh, fine lines that are involved. Um, I have to try really hard, but uh, so this is kind of an abstract background to go with the, the, the picture of the bird. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. This is my, this is actually my first beach picture. And I really enjoy doing pe beach pictures. Mm -hmm. And these are the first people that I draw, drew, and they're abstract. See, the head's not connected to some of them. And they're, uh, they don't have really fingers. Uh, and, but they have a shadow that's, that's, that's behind them and they're at the sea and they're just, they're just playing um, different kinds of swimming suits. Um, yeah. That's all abstract also. <laughs> but this is my first beach painting that I, uh, I did. And I really liked it. Very nice. You can tell they were having a good time. Yes, absolutely. I try to get movement into them by, by positioning their legs so it looks like their the legs were movement moving and their arms were moving. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll go to the next one. Okay, this is one where I did this is the first one I did really real detail on. This is a lighthouse that uh, a friend of mine requested that uh, I paint one for her. So I painted it and gave it to her for Christmas, but I kept this picture of it, so I have a record of it. But this is just a ge uh, generic lighthouse that I looked about 20 or 30 different lighthouses and I came up with this one. And uh, it's got the light, it's got a little, a little uh, lighthouse keeper's house right down there. Uh, but uh, it's just a generic lighthouse on a beach somewhere. This, the beams are going, this yellow is the be light, light beams going out. Cool. Oh. And the, the house and the tree really show the um dimensions yes of the and that's what that's what they're for yes absolutely and the clouds are more pretty abstract again um so uh but that that's uh, uh that uh like i said i made this for a friend of myers that uh indicated she wanted a, actually she, actually she actually bought me a watercolor paint kit oh. to, and, and, a, and some paper and asked me to do it, so uh, <laughs> I, I, I did it. Well, it turned out very nice. Yes, it did. It yes, did, it's nice, very okay. nice. Let's go to the next one. This is a, my, one of my October pictures for, it was, a, it was supposed to be a, a pirate ship uh, uh, sailing into the, to the, to the moon, moon, sailing into the, to, to, the, to, to the dusk. Wow, um, that's pretty. This is a good example of a, abstract lines because and with sails but uh, mm -hmm. I, I uh, and the moon is 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 I, I worked you know what I worked on the moon more than, than I did on the ship for this for this painting uh, so uh, I can see that you were trying to work on the man in the moon in there too ab absolutely I was trying to at least get a semblance of the man in the moon mm -hmm. the thing I don't like about this one particularly is that I, I left some pencil lines in it and I, I should have covered those up, uh, but uh, that was just you know, one, so a learning experience. If you'd not said anything, no one would notice. 
Well, yeah. but I understand that's your perfection. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, I'm very critical of my paintings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone's always the most critical of their own stuff. Don, okay. will you be doing a new calendar for next year that we can buy? No, I won't be giving you a calendar you can buy. I, I give them away for free. So um, I have. I we, we make a limited number of these to. Uh, give to people that have donated to the Alzheimer's Association and also to people that have supported us, um, both uh, uh, personally and uh, through the Alzheimer's Association. So we'll, we, I'm gonna make a batch up. Uh, I don't know how many I'll make, uh, but uh, I'll try to keep a few uh, for, for this group. I'd love one. I'm okay. enjoying it. Well, you, you've, you've gotten them before. You've gotten, I don't know how many you've gotten, but- uh, Two or three. Three, three, I've made three. I've made yeah. one. For, for the last three years, so this will be the fourth year. All right, this is a fall, uh, fall picture, kind of with a blue sky and the, some clouds up there, and the, um, the background shows the fall color trees behind it, and the, the foreground is trees that are losing their leaves, and, uh, um, and uh, just a general fall, using a fall color scheme. I think it's supposed to be a little like that on Friday. Good. What's that? I, th I said, I think the weather's supposed to be a little bit like that on Friday. I think so, too. I think so, too. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank that you. has great depth. That's what I try for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you succeeded. Yeah. I'm no Paulette, but I, I, I enjoy it. All right. Well, I, I got a couple stories I could read for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, give us just a couple minutes and we'll come back to that. All right. Okay. Th this is a, a picture of a Nautilus shell that my, uh, mm -hmm. that, that I have sitting on the shell. Again, I spent, I spent, on this one, I spent a lot of time working on the, the mathematics of how to draw the shell, which didn't help me at all in the end. But uh, <laughs> this, the, 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 the spiral shape of a Nautilus is a, is a, uh, uh, be expressed in, a ma in mathematical and very elegant mathematical terms. So, um, but uh, I ended up just drawing it like it is. But I learned a lot about the the, the, math the mathematics of it. That's good. That's the, that's the engineer in me. Yeah, I love math. I do too. I can't do it anymore, but I love it. Yeah, I'm starting to have trouble myself. All righty, let's go to the next one then. Okay, this one is a picture of a mountains uh, by a lake in the winter time. And you can see snow uh, in, in, in the, uh, the areas between the mountains and on the front of the mountain. So you see where the snow's gathered the most and then some of the irregular rock formations uh, uh, just have snow uh, on part of them. Um, so I made this on a special kind of paper. It's a, uh, it's a cotton, uh, 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 it's a cotton paper that has a, a uh, you can see it has kind of a irregular surface on it. Texture. Yeah. Texture. It has high texture. Rag? Yes. So a high I used to, content? Uh, No, this is a uh, this is 100 percent cotton. Mm. Um, well, let me look, let me look for a second. Yeah, I, th I think it's 100 percent cotton. No. Uh, so I, I had to spell, this is a really specially made paper. And uh, I really like using it on several paintings I've done. But you're right, it has a texture. Texture helps with the, with what's the, the lake and the, and the, the snow on the mountains. Um, and, and so. Uh, well, that's great. Yes. Thank Does you. that make it harder to paint with a, a texture like that? Well, it, you have to use your brush a little bit differently uh, because on, on, on regular paper, you can make a smooth stroke and it, it, it fills in, but on, on this paper, you have to make sure all the little uh, uh, te texture on the surface on the paper gets adequately uh, filled in. But in this particular painting, the texture of the paper actually gives depth to the snow yes. on the mountains. That, that's mm -hmm. a, that was the point of it. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don, I've got to tell you, this looks exactly like a view that I saw from a cruise ship 
in Alaska looking at a glacier. Okay. That, well, that it just that, that, takes that, my that, breath away. Well, um, I, I got inspired by this by looking at pictures of, of snow in the mountains on, and lakes in the mountains in, in the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this, mm. I did several, several pictures like this, but this was the best one. Beautiful. Okay. With a storm coming. With a storm coming, yes. Okay, this is a Christmas tree, uh, a Christmas light uh, thing I did uh, last year at Christmas time. Um, and it's just lights on, uh -huh. a, on a string with, and some some sparkly flashes in the background, and um, just kind of just for the holiday. Uh, uh, fun! Spirit. You did a great job with making it look like glass. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is also on that uh, special cotton paper. You can tell. Mm -hmm. um, but I, uh, I, I, this was a kind of easy painting for me, so I didn't mind mind doing it because I, I wanted to get something kind of fast for, for the Christmas time and uh, this uh, was a um, painting that or a picture that I really like. Now you see there's some dark lines going through some of these. These are supposed to be uh, show how the the, the, the uh, strings are, are you know, it's usually in two, the strings are in two pair mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the lines you are supposed to show that there's two Two strands of uh, wire for each light. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, does the white on the bubbles, is that like we when we used to have bubbles, the paint would come off of the outside <laughs> of the bubble? <laughs> I, I like that explanation a lot better, but what this really was supposed to be was show that uh, um, the glare from other lights in the room on the, on the, the color, lights that were. Oh, on. okay. Those old bulbs are kind of, um, they're, you can see through them even though they're painted a certain color. Yes. Um, we still use lights like that on our tree. We get a real tree and we use the old fashioned bulbs like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I use these for most of our lives, but uh, in recent years, we've gone to using a, a pre-lit tree that have uh, different kind of shaped bulbs on. Mm -hmm. but, but uh, um, my, my, my dad, my, what's that? My dad used to get frustrated because when one would go out, the whole string would die. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd have to try every bulb. Yep, yep. To get it to light up again. I've been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we there, all have. <laughs> okay, Let's see what I have. I don't remember. Our how grandchildren won't understand that. No. Uh, <gasps> okay, so this wow. is another abstract tree painting trees on a lake um, and the whites are supposed to be depictions of uh, uh, wood that's uh, uh, either part of the tree or, or, or dead wood and then the water in here has the reflection of each tree in it. That is so cool. Thank you. Beautiful. Neat. But, uh, Such nice. a great eye. So this one is not yeah. actually on this one is not actually on paper it's actually on a, a canvas board um, I do I've done several paintings on canvas boards these are, and when I say canvas they're not framed canvas they're just canvas uh, uh, glued onto or, or attached to a, 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 a solid board mm -hmm. is it kind of like the board you would use if you go for for drink and paint for what they have these little stores where you take your friends and you go and somebody oh, brings yeah. wine and you, you drink yeah. and you all paint yeah. the same picture. Exactly. Exactly okay. what they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those are cool boards. They're very versatile. So, I, so that painting reminds me of watching Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And oh, yes. I watched a lot of, I, I, I've watched a lot of Bob Ross while I was getting to know how to yeah. do this. Yes. And I like the way you built up the acrylic to yeah. make the art look. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that, again, as I, I try new techniques on, on, on things. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> true. That's how Bob Ross would say it. That's exactly right. <laughs> and you can put that happy little tree anywhere you want to put it. 
That's right. That's right. Oh, okay, this God. is, these are, this is, okay, I've been showing you acrylic paintings for a little bit. This is an acrylic painting. Um, the, 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 uh, it's supposed to depict a, a, somebody walking their dog across a, a field in, in the fields. It is, it's, it's a kind of a fall picture because okay. the grass is turning yellow and, and some red uh, or uh, red, all red colors. And the technique I used on this was I, I put down paint on this uh, on this uh, board, no, yeah, I think this was a board, and uh, then I took a piece of a couple pieces of foil and then I rolled them into balls and I just went to the paint and dabbed the paint to make uh, make make different shapes in the paint. Self control. Um, Texture. Textures, yes, yes. Oh wow. And the uh, the strokes I used down here looks like I did a lot of little strokes. I actually had mm -hmm. a comb. That I was able to paint paint the colors on the on on the paper, then run a comb in the same direction oh through the goodness. paint. This looks like a Van Gogh. <laughs> well, you know, next year I, there's some uh, I've I've been watching some videos that show how to replicate some of Van Gogh's techniques, and mm -hmm. I plan on trying some of those. But, oh, uh, I can't you wait! Know, you know, Van Gogh's. Uh, um, my uh, te uh, technique is using a lot of little dots, and so I got to get used to that. Uh huh. Favorite okay. artist? I love Van Gogh. Yeah, I do too. Oh, I do too. Oh, gosh, yeah. My favorite artist is Monet. Um, I have a lot of Monet prints around the house, but, uh, um, but yeah. I'd like to see those someday. Take pictures and show us what you have of, of Monet. Okay. Um, okay. I probably just could get. Uh, uh, find them on the internet and show pictures of them. So what they really look like, because uh -huh. these are uh, they, they, no, some of these are limited editions, but they're limited mm -hmm. editions of like runs of twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. So that's so not very limited. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah. considering how many humans there are in the world, twenty thousand yeah. is not exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah, John's favorite is Monet also. Yeah. Can you help me get off? Okay. Um, let's see. I think I got one more picture. At least one more picture. Okay. So <gasps> this is a kind of a negative picture of trees. Well, it's it's kind of a negative picture, but it's it's right. a negative picture of trees at, at at night. But I left the sky black and the moon white, uh, just because I I wanted to. But that that's what this <laughs> is. is is uh, trees along a uh, river bank, and uh, there's some ice out in the water, and the reflection of the trees in the ice. This is all done with two colors, white, black, and white. Mercy. That's that beautiful. Impressive. Yeah. Very oh, nice. My. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. But, uh, what's that? Okay. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Thanks Nancy. See you later. Okay. As you know, I I keep painting through the months, so every once, mm -hmm. once while I get every once in a while when I get several paintings done, I might I'd like to show them to you guys. Oh please. That sounds good. Okay. Please. Okay. We'll we'll have to add oh. this session in so yeah. that we have it a little more often. Yeah. I I was wrong. I had one more paint painting. Ooh. So this is acrylic painting, and it uses instead of using a, a brush, it uses a a, a palette knife to spread mm -hmm. things around. Oh my goodness! So, One of Bob Ross's favorite tools. Yes, <laughs> and he used it much better than I do. But uh, I really, yeah, this is an abstract of sailboats, and I really liked how it turned out. A regatta. Yeah, a regatta, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. You've done some really nice work, Don. Thank, Thank you so much. much for sharing with us. Okay. And great techniques. Oh, and then it, I guess I did have one more. I, I forgot Ooh. about this one. This is another oh, autumn painting. Too. Uh, I'd like to jump into that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I've, I, 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 uh, the, what I found out is I like paintings with trees in them. Mm -hmm. So I probably have more of those where trees are either the theme or or, or, or part of the painting. Um, 
but uh, I it works like for you. Trees. Yep. I gotta say this. I love if your work. Works for you. I love your work. It's beautiful. Thank you, Paulette. It oh, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, you know, as, you as, as a hobby, I've really gotten into, and I'm able to to continue doing uh, throughout my dementia. Um, unlike some of the other hobbies I have, that uh, I get to a point where I I was no longer able to do them. But uh, mm -hmm. painting is one that I, I've been able to continue. Do you belong to any artist groups? No, I don't. I I, I I I I I I'm part of some uh, artist. Uh, um, uh, uh, web pages that have uh, a series of of of, uh, of uh, things they put out uh, on a daily or a weekly basis to, for people to try. But that's, that's the only one cool. I have. Well, your your paintings are definitely good enough to be shown in an art gallery. <laughs> Absolutely, they really well, are. I agree. Uh, and we'll Thank all be first in line to see the show when it opens. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not, don't hold your breath for this showing up in, in the Eamon Carter anytime soon. <laughs> Can't imagine why not, though, Don. You have a real talent. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm so Very glad nice. you shared everything with us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this, oh, I, got, I keep forgetting uh, how many people oh. I got here. Yeah. Oh, that's great. This is a snowman. It's done on that same uh, cotton paper with the texture. Mm -hmm. So it shows texture in the snow. That looks uh, like a print, print Christmas card. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. Actually, I was going to say, you can turn that into a Christmas card. I did turn it into a Christ, Christmas card <laughs> one year. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh. And you know, that would have been boring had you used any other kind of background. Yeah, if, yeah. If you hadn't used that paper. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get death by, you know, putting things yes. that are in front. So that they're easier to see, and the background is uh, less uh, less uh, visible. It's uh -huh. as far away in the, in the snow cloud or something. The only thing missing is you need a red cardinal on his hat. <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of it either. So there you go. You could do another one. Uh, I might. Yeah. All right. Let me see if this is the last one. Drum roll. Nope. <gasps> Yay! Wow! This is another acrylic painting on the uh, on the canvas board, and another one that I used the palette knife only the, only the palette knife on. That's a very happy painting. It, I, I, that's why I did it. It's a very happy painting. I, I needed to do a happy painting at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. A I'm very glad you happy did. Painting. And there are mountains in the far far background too. Yep. Yep. The oh, flowers wow. are in the front. Mm -hmm. And there's some abstract things in the middle. Some of the, some of the blue is supposed to represent water, like, mm -hmm. like lakes or, or rivers or something. It almost looks like there's water um, in the immediate background behind the flowers and then the mountains. Well, the, 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 the blue behind, okay. Yes, behind the, behind the flowers before the mountains. Is that what you said? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, yes, that, that's what I intended. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, Don. What a man. What a man. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. a regular Renaissance man. Uh, you are. Okay. Well, engineers do that. People no, do engineers do don't do this. That's why, mm -hmm. I, that, yeah. that's why I didn't pick it up earlier. We do, uh, we do things that are specifications, so light, straight lines and, and circles and uh, um, it's, this is something that was totally outside my engineering experience. I wrote a story about green. It could go with your painting. Oh, really? Yes. Well, do you have it? Yes. You have it? All right. Yeah, I do. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, cried a voice out of the blue. I am green, and you can't imagine the difference I make. I turn the bare winter trees to green when leaves begin to grow in the spring. I am the sprigs of herbs that flavor your foods. I am basil, oregano on your pizza. I am kale and spinach and filled with iron to make you strong. I am nutritious. I am the scent of fresh mint for iced tea, cool drinks, and the mint and peppermint. 
Some of my leaves are soft and fuzzy, others are sharp and pointed to the touch, like pine needles in the spine of a cactus. I can make you say, ouch! I am green feathers on parakeets and parrots. I am old that goes in dark, damp places. Sometimes researchers turn me into medicine to make you well. I am the sound of a lawnmower that cuts the overgrown grass. I am the green grass of home. I am the sound of wind in the trees. I am growth. I am life. I am green. Oh, thank you. Uh, that was beautiful, uh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah. That's wow. I read a whole bunch of so perfectly with Don's painting. Yes. Yeah. There you go. We can hang them up together. That's right. <laughs> I could taste and smell that yes. as you were reading it. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. That was I don't know, very Paul, well done. Paul, is there any way you can make a copy of it and then send it to a, to a, to an email that I could uh, I could attach it to this picture? Oh sure, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure I could. A collaboration. Uh, yeah, Paulette, I'll send you Don's email address. Okay. And then you can um, make a copy of the poem. And okay. Send it to his email address. Thank okay. You. I, it's going to take me a minute to figure out how to go log onto my computer and find where I have it printed, or maybe I could just take a picture and send. I don't know, but it'll take me a day or two to get that done. But I will do it to you. So, I'm sure uh, he has a day or two. Gail, if yes. I send th this file to you, could you distribute it to the group? Absolutely. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Awesome. Hey, that, that's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Hey, well, Don. We are just about out of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take up all the time. No, no, that's okay. We it's said, beautiful. We said when we started that we would need to do this more than one time. Yeah. So we will um, schedule another day for those of you who did not get to share or those of you who have other things to share, we'll schedule another day. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Cool. I got more writings. I got more paintings. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This was a lot of fun. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you for setting up, Gail. Oh, yeah. Thank you for putting this together. I really like this program. Yeah. Oh, you do. this is great. You just yeah. don't know about people's history and, until you do something like this. Yes. So Who would have, have ever thought? And we have such a creative group. We yeah, do. Absolutely. So absolutely. when did you start painting? I started painting, let's see, I was diagnosed uh, with uh, dementia in, uh, let me go count back, 2011. Okay. And I started painting about a year after that. Okay. And I, like I said, I had to, I had to build up and start, uh, uh, you know, figuring out how to do things. Right. I watched a lot of, a lot of painting videos on, on the internet, but uh, yeah, I've been doing it since then. So you've been painting about eight years then? Yes. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Oh, Dusty, welcome. thank you for sharing your music with us. Yes, sure. yeah. And Paulette, thank you for sharing your paintings and your writings. Yes. You have yeah. such a way with words. Yeah. I'm going to want to hear more of her Paulette's uh, writings. Uh, yes, yes please. Both written and verbal. You have yes. Such a way with mm -hmm. words. Yeah, I, I've wrote the stories of many colors. Oh, really? Colors, that, yeah. I, I, that sounds interesting. Oh, I, oh, it was so fun. You know, I thought about white and all the different, you know. Yeah. So green is part of a series? Yes, green is part of a series. Wow. Okay. That's, oh, awesome. that's great. I uh, oh, have um, some of the others. Uh, black, white, yellow, pink, red. Blue, brown, uh, silver. Ooh. Oh, okay, good. And so so I will look at scheduling another hobby showcase in November. Okay. <laughs> and since some of our uh, regulars can't be here on Thursdays, I'm going to try to flip flop. Okay. Yeah, Thursday. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Well, let me share with you tomorrow's session.
Tomorrow we have Jonathan Sanson on jazz piano with vocals, and he has been with us before. Okay. Uh, okay. So come ready to hear what Jonathan brings, and I'm sure he'll have some new tunes for us. That's exciting. That's okay. exciting, yes. All right. Yes, thank you so much, Gail. Y'all yes. have a wonderful Gail, you day. You do such a good job of, of putting all these things together. It is yeah. just, it's the high spot of my day. Well, so you, thank all, you, so you all have made today really great um, to get to share things that you do and continue to do things that bring you joy and keep your, your mind and your body active. Yes. So it's really great to see all that. Oh, this was a fun day. I love it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. we will do this great again. fun day. You do great artwork. You really do. Beautiful Thank paintings. All right. So all right. be thinking see about, tomorrow. Uh, what you want to share next time. Okay. And we'll get it scheduled and I'll give you a new date. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 bye.